All right, time to uh, give a go at making my first part. See, this part is, I guess, a spring holder. The shoulders where the spring sits on and guides it for part of my belt sander build. I want a taller one, so I'm going to, I mean, I've got steel. This is aluminum, unfortunately, you know, I can, but the idea is to try and make one out of steel. So, Clearly looking at the whole project, it's not a huge deal to uh, what I'm doing as far as alignment, but my course of action, what I think I'm going to do, I want to uh, want to face it. Then I'm going to come in and center drill and put out a and support it with a live center and then start turning this minor or whatever this ID to approximately the same shoulder. I mean that's neither here nor there as far as the height of that I don't think and then this is neither here nor there either. I think the harder part of this whole operation will be this hole that I got is going to be drilling through that hole. So, but I guess we'll see how this all works out then. So I guess I'll just go in there and touch off my zero. It's cut, 600 RPMs, 40,000 deep cut, and taking it out at 3,000 feet per rev in. I'm going to take it out to three quarters of an inch.
remind myself exactly what I'm trying to go for. That would be my second coffee cup that I have broke in my workshop. Alright, so that's uh, 9.44, so I'm a little over still. So really I've got about 10 thousandths to take off. show you what determines whether it's good or not this is the spring that it's gonna use that it's a seat for so spring goes on it's a good part so far I can still screw this up so I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit
This is kind of my first quasi successful parts on the lathe and it is a bigger version of this. Not necessarily the same dimensions but that's by no means the only, only dimension that mattered was this smaller diameter. and. Uh, Kind of match that up, have the world's best go-no-go -go gauge is the part that it's used for. So, seeing as how this is my first time ever building a belt sander, and you know, maybe it'll be my last, I don't know, I might come back and build a different one. But, uh, the idea is that you have to have a tensioning device. And so when I built it, you know, I designed this just kind of, I had no idea what I was doing in designing these plates really. Just a little research from other people and then I put this big post on it to be my pivot right here. And I could have probably made that a couple inches shorter at least. And because the part that I got from Beaumont Metal, who they make, they make belt grinders and so this part it really was just a little shy of what I needed so I decided let's make my own and uh, that that right there puts this a little proud and under tension maybe maybe it'll be a little level but it's at least this way the spring's not kind of like you know more or less right where I want it. I think it'll do the job just fine. That's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Again, old, new.